And last but certainly not least, we have a reserve bottle. This month we've chosen Buschini Carlo's Amarone Classico. This is a 2015 vintage from Valpolicella. Valpolicella is world famous for its wines and perhaps even more famous for its Amarones, which some say to be the patriarch of all Valpolicella wines. Those of you not familiar, Valpolicella is a famous wine region in northern Italy. It is the second largest producer of quality DOC wines in all of Italy. This region is going to be located east of Venice. It is right outside of the historic city of Verona, which some of you may be familiar from Romeo and Juliet. If you head northwest towards Lake Garda, um, you'll start entering those rolling hills that Valpolicella is really famous for. And um, some believe the name Valpolicella to be derived from the Greek name meaning Valley of Many Cellars, which is very, very fitting for this region. Amarone. Amarone is going to be a blend of four partially grape, partially dried, I'm sorry, grape varietals. So these grape varietals are indigenous to uh, the region. They are Corvina, which is the main grape, Corvinone, which is extremely rare, and Rondinella and Molinara. So these grapes are going to be picked in mid-October. They're at their optimum ripeness, and then they're going to be left to dry on straw mats for the rest of the winter. So during that roughly 120 days of drying out, these grapes are going to drop about 30 to 40% of their weight, which results in a really high concentration and a really high sugar levels. This translates into wines that are 15% or higher in alcohol, and we'll touch on that a little bit later. But... The wine is then going to be slow fermented at really low temperatures, and this can take up to five months, followed by a minimum barrel aging of two years. So all of this before the grapes, or before this wine even hits the bottles. So this is why Amarones can demand such a higher price point because coupled with the fact that this wine is sitting in the winery aging and taking up a lot of space, about two times the amount of grapes go into an Amarone bottle than any other uh, red wine. Boschini Carlo. So Boschini Carlo is a family owned and operated winery. They have about 14 hectares of vineyards that are overlooking the famous historic city of St. Giorgio in Valpolicella. This Amarone has 40% Corvina, 40% Corvinone, and 20% Rondinella. It is a really rich and robust wine. When you pour it into your glass, you're gonna get an amazing bouquet of ripe red fruit. Um, on the palate, you're gonna get some cherry jam and spice um, finish with hints of tobacco and those ripe red fruits again. This is a wine that will handsomely age um, it's perfectly paired with stewed, roasted meats, matured cheeses, some game. This wine is best served at room temperature. It's really wonderful when decanted. So if you have a decanter at home, um, decant this for a couple hours. If you don't, just pop open the cork. It's okay. Just let it breathe. This is really going to help enrich and bring out all those flavors that this Amarone wine is famous for. So. This is one of our favorite wines in the warehouse. Um, Buscani Carlo does such a fantastic job. I really hope that you guys enjoy this this month. And even if you didn't order a reserve bottle, let Nancy know she can order you a bottle. This is a really fantastic production. Um, I'm excited for you guys to try it. Thank you again for your time. It's always a pleasure. And do not forget to sign up for the virtual blind tasting on September 23rd uh, with Nancy and I. We're going to have a great time. It's going to be a lot of fun. We always do. So again, thank you so much. We appreciate your support.